What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua employs a sports psychologist for the first time as a professional. Now, he has added this new psychologist, and he said this is the first time we worked with a psychologist as a pro. We were talking about improving because I don't know how long I can keep going through these training camps because they're seriously fucking me over big time. There's a massive amount of work you need to do no matter how you're feeling. Fuck it. Get on with it. That's boxing. Yes, we spoke to a lot of teams. We work with that manager, Freddie Cunningham had brought to the table. We partnered up with the people who are performance based and they brought in Navy SEALs, team bonding experts, all experts in different types of field where you're trying to achieve a goal. So the purpose of the new addition was to home Joshua's mind and focus under high pressure. The focus, the process Joshua claims has heightened his performance both physically and mentally. You know, of course, he said that, you know, the Navy SEALs, they're put in situations where they're under a lot of pressure and how they react. So I have a plan to beat Ruiz on Saturday, but then he goes out and clocks me with a big shot. How do I deal with that situation? Now, he says a lot of things and examples So, this tells me, since he's bringing in uh, new people, a psychologist, and his team, that tells me two things. One, that the pressure to perform is real. You know, and two, that's definitely dedication. You know, Joshua has said in many interviews that he's focused. But also, I guess there's a third because now, you know, I can't talk about Deontay Wilder complaining about training camps and not talking about Anthony Joshua. It's telling me that these training camps are kicking his ass. So mentally, he's he's bothered by these training camps. You know, and you got to put into account too, Anthony Joshua. He's only 22, and he's only he only had 22 fights, with 21 knockouts. But I heard George Foreman say about Felix Trinidad when Trinidad was beating everybody, like David Reed and Fernando Vargas, and you know William Joppy. And he said something very, very interesting. He said a fighter can't keep making these home runs. You know. You're going to have to eventually, you know, um, strike out sometime. And that's funny. He said that because actually the next fight he lost to Bernard Hopkins. Whereas Joshua wants to be mentally there so he can continue to do these training camps. Because obviously, you know, I've seen those stringent training camps. They are like that's some type of um, CrossFit shit that he's doing. So I think he's he has a lot of pressure under him and when he's not really training, he's doing things for endorsements and flying for commercials and you know all these things that involve his brand. So I can imagine it's a lot of pressure under him especially coming to the US. When you're in the UK, it's okay, you're home. But when you're in the US, you got extra people, you got extra interviews, you got extra hatred. You got extra support, but you got extra everything when it comes to boxing and it comes to, you know, trying to uphold your brand. And the Navy SEALs, because, you know, Loma, you know, and a lot of Eastern European fighters, they work on mental strategies and, you know, and they train themselves mentally. So it is a good idea. It can't hurt. You know, it could only help Anthony Joshua. But the thing I want to bring to the forefront is that you have to be one focused or concerned individual to bring in extra help 
or assistance or support when you haven't lost. This is something that you do if you got your ass whooped. You know what I mean? And I hear him say, well, what if I take a shot from Ruiz? I know he was using that as an example, but I'm like, you got hit by Klitschko. Klitschko put you down. You know what I mean? And you got back up. So maybe something else is going on. I'm not really sure if it's just that, but it's definitely in the ballpark of pressure, you know, and with pressure comes stress, you know, and he needs that extra mental because obviously something's breaking upstairs that either he's, it's wearing on him. Like he's saying, these training camps are starting to fuck me over. Well, something's going on that he's either, his resistance is getting low, so he needs that extra men mental um, boost, you know, to keep him doing the things that he's been doing. So obviously, you know, I never, I don't really see Joshua out of shape. I haven't seen him out of shape. You know, I don't follow the guy around or nothing, but he's not one of those guys that get vastly out of shape. He's more like Klitschko. He's probably already always doing something physical, maybe, you know, I don't, but I don't know. You know, I don't know the man. So to me, those training camps, you know, are stringent, but now, you know, it's some concern about, hey, this shit's fucking me over. You know what I mean? So I remember Deontay didn't want to train like that. But training itself, you know, will wear you down, you know? But after all, it is a good thing, I feel, because it could only help him, especially bringing someone else in, you know? So it shows him that he's definitely aware of the areas that he needs to work on. You know, so he didn't really go into detail what those were, which is a good thing. You don't let no one know, everyone know what your weaknesses are because they'll try to exploit it. If I had to guess, it would be endurance or stamina with with Anthony Joshua. So he says he has more of mental, so that might give him what he's missing. So it's a good thing after all. But anyway, I'll leave the link below, let you guys check it out. You guys tell me what you think about him bringing in some Navy Steel, Navy Seal style psychologist to help him win Saturday night. But anyway, this is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and you guys have been Counterpunched. Peace.